All right, guys, it's time to do something really positive. And um, before Jimmy Winkler had passed away, I was already trying to get IS-93 Park fixed. You know, I'm trying, I was in my head, I'm like, what could I could, what, what, what could I do that's sincerely like something official that's towards positivity? So, you know, like two, three, like about actually like seven, eight months ago, um, I wrote the city. This is before, you know, you know, before our brother passed. And, um, um, yeah, like eight months ago, I wrote them. I said, how are you going to leave the cracks in the floor? You know, when you, if you go to play a full court right now in IS-93 Park and um, St. Mary's Playground on Woodbine and Woodward, um, if you go to play a full court, you'll break your leg. And on the other court, I actually believe you'll break your leg too. One's worse than the other, like the other one, just forget about. And like, think about this. How could a park become a famous park with, with cracked, with cracked courts? Like, 93 used to be a big time ballpark. And th that's not even me, like, like two in Rid Ridgewood's horn, like, cause I live here, like real shit. Um, um, 93 park was no joke. And, you know, you wonder why nobody plays ball there no more. Look at the courts, you know, and to make a long story short, I mean, I think it goes, you know, without saying that, you know, in honor of, of Jim too, you know, it would be cool to get the park fixed, you know, and, um, he had created the group IS 93 legends and it's perfect, bro. So what I need you guys to do, like, if you really want to do something and it's so simple, just write any New York City Park dot gov website about St. Mary's Playground having the cracks in the basketball courts. Just from me writing alone, they act like they're like a little nervous. If you guys write them, we'll get the park fixed. So, like, um, you know, if I can make this platform count for something, this is probably the biggest thing out of all the videos. You know, write the parks department and tell them to get the, the basketball courts fixed. The crack in the ground, you'll break your legs. I, you'll snap it off. I'm going to post pictures tomorrow. So, y'all know, or, you know, in the up and coming days, I don't want to commit tomorrow and then I don't make it out there. But in the, in, in, trust me, within up and coming days, I'm going to take picture of the park, most likely tomorrow. And you'll got, you guys will see while no, nobody's going to play full courts there. And they'll have the whole winter to address it. You know, and it's money well spent because think about it. If the kids ain't playing ball, what they doing? You know, what do they say? Um, idle hands are the devil's playground or whatever. You know, these kids don't got nothing to do. So what might they do? They might do something, you know, be, I'd rather be playing a full court than, you know, you know, maybe hustling or doing something I shouldn't be doing or whatever. Not saying that all the kids are doing that because there's no court, but it gives them something to do. And those parks are the, the courts are destroyed. We used to have eight courts in 93 park. We used to have four running along the back of the of the of the baseball field and we had four in the in the entrance and it was two full courts and four um three on three courts and now it's down to six courts and the two full courts are like fully destroyed so right and right you know hit up nyc.gov the parks section and write to them about um, Maria's Playground. And I believe we could get it done. Because they looked like they were ready to do it just off of one person writing. So if you're serious about positivity, make that call, man. You can't say I ain't let you know.